All right, folks. So about an hour and 20 minutes. Did 1,200 feet. And uh, as you can see, I've gone about eh, 100 and something feet. I don't know how many sticks this is. Probably at least seven or eight sticks, 20 feet long. And so I'm down there right now. I figured I'd document just a minute or two of uh, some of this and uh, kind of take you along with me here while I uh, do a couple more pieces and then I'm gonna call it a day. It's been, uh, it's been a pretty doggone productive day. I, I really did not expect to, uh, to be laying pipe today. I thought I'd be trenching all day, cutting through roots and stuff, but uh, fortunately, the excavator and the backhoe did a lot of the prep for me. I still gotta push the pipe down in the ground. See a little chunk like that that's holding it up. I'll just take a, a stake, a wooden stake, and dig that out and push it down real good into the ground. Uh, it's two inch pipe is what it is. I think I had 700 feet of two and 500 feet of uh, inch and a half. And uh, just been out here chugging away. It's really going pretty quickly. Uh, laying this pipe I think based on the rate of which I am laying the pipe today I'll be done by tomorrow and uh, you know I uh, I actually got a spigot installed at the front already and I turned the water on I went and bought a t-bar you know the turn the water on at the meter and um, turned the water on had the mini out here had her yell when the water started shooting out of the end. Had really, really good pressure, so I'm excited about that. Should be uh, more than enough pressure needed to do what I need to do out here. And, uh, you know, it's just simple. It's, you know, it's not like I'm trying to provide water to a house out here. This is just gonna provide irrigation for the crops, a place to uh, wash our hands off or something like that if need be, but, uh, Anyway, I figured I'd show you a little bit of what I'm uh, doing here. I need to take this stake out right there, a little drop. And I need to get a more direct shot. Don't want to get any dirt in the end of it. Okay, so let's get her up here. See, it's, uh, it's a lot deeper than it looks. If I push it all the way down, see how deep that's way deeper than i even needed it i only needed to go about six inches or something like that but um some of this i still have to kind of dig out with a stake underneath this is the trickiest part here because it is two inch pipe it's a little heavy for what it is um so just getting it to uh see if i can ease i'm not going to be able to ease that down in there let me do this it's uh it's heck when you work by yourself <laughs> I could use an extra set of hands, but the mini did help me for a while and then uh, she got overheated uh, Or not overheated just got hot. I was tired. It's like I'm ready to take a break And so I was like yeah, go ahead There we go Take your break and uh, So she's in the uh, AC right now in the truck but we're getting ready to wrap it up anyway i i would love to finish all the way down to the end of the path today but i'm not going to do it um i'm just going to finish a couple more sticks here and and call it good for the day i'll have all day tomorrow and i'll come out here when the sun's not quite as bright and uh hot you know first thing 6 6 30 in the morning seven o'clock or something like that and try to get all i can get done uh, before it's just sweltering out here. Get it uh, set up right there. We have a nice straight push. If you try to do this crooked with this heavy of a uh, gauge pipe, it's hard. You know, it doesn't want to go in the way you want it to go in. So you want to be as straight as possible when you're trying to uh, run it. Boy, I just got dirt in the end of that pipe. When you're trying to run it in there. And so what I'll do is I'll take this stake out and uh, it'll be about the same, uh, same height. 
All right, so get a nice big gob of that and run deep with it. Run it all around. Same thing here. And like I said, I might take my time a little bit more if it were for a house or something. Uh, one day, if I have to come back and redo some of it, that's fine. You know, it's, uh, it's not a hard thing to have to uh, redo the way I have it set up here. <sighs> yeah, see how deep that sits in there, though? For the most part, it's all about that deep. There's a little rise in it down there I have to take out. Um, there'll be a, a couple of those here and there, but um, anyway... You know, I documented the trenching, and I wasn't going to document any of this because, yeah, I figure who's going to watch this, but maybe you've, uh, maybe you've never done this before, and you just wanted to see how it was done. I'm certainly no tutorial on how to uh, run water line, a water main for your property, but, you know, it's just as easy. I don't have any knowledge in this, right? I've... Uh, I've done some things like this at uh, rental properties and whatnot, um, but uh, you know, never anything this big, you know, 1,200, 1,500 feet long. I've never done anything like this, but super simple. There's nothing to it. My truck is so dusty. It's so dusty out here. I don't know if you can, uh, it's too bright to see the dust blowing away, but if a truck drives through here like that flatbed a minute ago, it's just this cloud of dust that follows it. I talked about, uh, uh, dirt boogers on a stream <laughs> a couple weeks ago and yeah that's what you'll have out here so it looks like I have about about 20 sticks left of the two inch and the rest of it will be inch and a half I'll reduce it down to inch and a half so you know that'll be uh That'll go in the back part of the uh, property there where the sprinklers are going to go and so forth. But, uh, yeah, just easy does it here. Steadily just moving along. You can see I'm not sprinting to get down there to get the next part done. Uh, it's all about, uh, you know, endurance, I guess, and just being uh, consistent and efficient with your work. Not necessarily sprinting. I'm not on a clock here. I'm not getting paid to do this. As a matter of fact, I'm paying to do this. So <laughs> I'll just take my time and, uh, you know, I don't get winded or anything. When I get home at the end of the day, uh, I'll work out. You know, I'll lift weights. I know you probably can't tell that looking at my physique, but uh, I won't lift super heavy weights, but just stay in shape. And it, uh, it's not enough that it just wears me out and uh of course if you follow me on the other channel you'll know i stream four days a week also work family all of that stuff see like this i'll have to come through here with a shovel it's actually pretty easy with my hands just to do it this way i have to scoop this out where it's falling in there aren't many places like that uh there's just some places in here where it's kind of falling in a little bit. I'll take that out and it'll be fine. But uh, yeah, I'm just excited. I'm just really, really excited to finally have water on the property. You know, if we need uh, water for anything, you know, whether it be for sprinklers or the kids want to play in a, you know, water or, um, we need to wash ourselves off or whatever the case the uh <laughs> the minis are wanting me to build an outhouse out here i don't know if i'll ever quite get around to doing something like that and and the missus wants a, a bigger kitchen so i told her i'd just build her a uh a place out here to put a kitchen that was it was really just a joke but yeah i'm sure she wouldn't mind it if i did now that one didn't go in as far as I wanted it to. I was hoping to go to there and I only uh, got about that much of it in there, but uh, it'll be it'll be fine. This glue melts the plastic together. So it'll be okay. What I'll do though, before I finish and cover all of this up, 
I will pressure check it, right? You always want to do that before you go through the trouble of burying everything and then you turn the water on and the ground starts getting wet in one spot. Yeah, you gotta dig that back up because you got a leak, right? You don't want to do that. But uh, now what I'll do is before I, before I, you know, cover it all back up with the backhoe is I'll just take the front bucket at an angle and just push, just push the dirt back in and pull it from the other side and uh, I'll cover it that way. But, yeah, you know, I'm not moving very fast here, but I get a lot done. I get a lot done because there are no distractions. Um, I don't have many things to slow me down out here, but you can see the end of the path right there, right? So, gosh, that must be at least 250 feet right there or more from there to here to get back to where the tractor is parked is where the prop, where it opens up, the land opens up and that clearing is at. So yeah, probably uh, 250 feet took me, I don't know, an hour and a half or something to do this by myself, an hour. Didn't take very long, uh, an hour for the, uh, an hour for the ditching to dig that out and then an hour for this. Now I guess I actually got lucky right here with the turn, so it's not gonna bind when I go to put it in as, uh, as much as I thought it would. Cause see, if I drop this out and get it down, see, it'll slide right in right there. Okay, so we're good. So let me do this again. And actually I have to put it down to take it out. See how hard it is just to take it out when it's not even now how easy it was. Oh, I got a little dirt in there anyway, so it's a good thing I did take it back out. But uh. Try to get the dirt out of the end of it. Get this nice and clean. I took a rag and I cleaned all of these things when he dropped them off, but I'm around here. Nice thick coat of uh, glue. Top and bottom and all around. All right. Nice. I'll seal that up. I'm gonna take my stake, move it down to uh, about right here. And I gotta dig this out. See, it's deep there, and then the dirt fell in like you see right there. So I'll just take either my hands or a shovel or something, and uh, from here to down there, I'll have to dig that out. And, um, but uh, anyway, it's about uh that's about a third of it maybe maybe not quite a third because i have to go down to that and then all the way down to the end of the opening back around the field and back down this way um i can just walk down there real quick and show you so look at that nice turn right there that thing just turn so easily so anyway i come down here all the way to the back corner back to that corner and halfway here you can see the tracks right there i showed you earlier uh, where i came back across and you can actually see the end of the ditch there the trench and so that's where i'll uh that's where i have to go to okay folks uh got here a little while ago and uh started laying out the pipe figured out an easy way to get it from the front to the back uh, the road over here is over 20 feet wide, so no problems uh, driving with it long ways. But I'm um, laid out to there. I got to go all the way back around to right there. And I'm not, I haven't fully decided yet if I'm going to go all the way over here yet. I may stop over in that corner because there'll really be no need for water over here as far as I can tell. Um, I think I'm going to do some other things over in this area, but, but I may go to where I stopped. I have plenty of pipe to do it. Plenty of fittings, uh, everything I need. I'm gonna put a spigot right here, as a matter of fact, while I'm uh, thinking about it. Might as well throw this off over here. This is just a cut piece. It's a little piece that I'll use to uh, cut to, uh, you know, have my spigot. I wanna put one right here 
stops in if we need water when we drive up or whatever. And uh, eventually, I think the Mrs. and I decided that this is way down the road, but if we can eventually get a metal building, we'll put it somewhere along through here. It's very level right here. Boy, the horse flies are just tearing me up today. My head specifically. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, we'll put a, a metal building right in this area. It's just small. It's just 20 by 40. So uh, you imagine one of these sticks of pipes 20 feet long. So it'll only be, you know, that wide and twice, you know, two of those long. Just big enough to fit my tractor in and, a, you know, some hand tools or whatever. Something that I can lock up. All right, everyone. That's what it looks like laid out going around to down over there so i'm gonna get to putting it all together and i'll be back with you here in just a minute install a spigot down here i uh, have it ready to go i have my teflon tape i have a two inch to three quarter reducer right here uh, i got my saw i got my uh my wrench here i told you i would show you this uh it only took us about 10 minutes to get from down there to right here uh, it was really fast uh, kind of sticking it all together oh yeah an l we need an l this is three quarter it's got the thread on the other end for the uh, boiler drain or whatever you want to call it so let's go over here and we're gonna have to cut this pipe and stick it back together with this l have my glue over here already and what i've been doing is i took some wooden stakes to hold it up out of the ground and then i drop it down in there I actually found a little better way easier way of uh getting this done uh, i have the mini out here helping me and uh, that certainly makes things go a lot faster too but so let's get in here and cut this pipe first before we do anything <laughs> cut and clean this up real good get all of the little pieces out of here <sighs> okay there's that just let that sit right there clean this up real good on this side okay so there's that. Now I'm gonna grab the glue. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this out. You know, I could actually go ahead and glue this in now. I hear a tractor coming by. Okay, that's all nice and sealed. Uh, now we're gonna do the same thing to this end. Glue it up real good. Hold that for me. Glue this up real good. Got my glued in right here. And we're gonna try to keep it straight up and down if we can. <clears throat> okay. That's pretty straight. All right, now I need to get this pipe. And I need to cut it. We'll probably, I'm just gonna eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just uh, a spigot sticking up. But I don't want it to be too long. Um, that's gonna be down in the ground that much. So I probably need to go about right here. Okay, clean that up real good. Okay, we're good and once we stick it down it's gonna be about right there that'll be perfect height uh, and I'll paint these two I'll paint them so that they're uh, they're visible and I'll probably end up staking them off also with some type of uh, metal or wood all right so that's in there like so that's good all right and we we have a little play here with left and right uh, or forward and backwards here as I'm facing it in case we want to straighten it up or something a little bit um, 
I guess I can go ahead and install this first and then right, let's do this let's get a little gob of glue up in there I like to just glue just it'll squirt out you know what's extra will squirt out but do that make sure it's on there real good and you don't have long because this glue melts the plastic together you only have a couple seconds once you attach those and it's gonna it's gonna melt together all right throw a little teflon tape on here see i'm screwing this way so i need to come from this way well, the birds are singing this morning Yeah, I got a good feeling we'll be done with this whole thing by probably lunchtime today. I would imagine we can get it done by then. And then we'll uh, we'll let everything dry. And then we'll do a pressure check on it and see where we stand. And this is the point where I need the... Uh, the wrench, channel locks, whatever you want to call them. And we're just going to be easy with it because it is just plastic here. I don't want to break anything. Plenty of backup pieces just in case I do plenty of couplings. And, you know, if I mess up a piece of pipe, I can just cut it and, uh, and splice it together with another piece of pipe. Right there. Mm. Okay. I don't want to mess the threads up on this because you won't get your garden hose on and off of there if you do. Um, so we'll come out the side. Uh, some may do it down, maybe even up, but some may do it down. But there's not going to be a lot of room once I get this pipe down in the ground for you to stick a hose here. So I think it's better if we do it on the side and we can kind of bend it back that way. Um, all right. So next part is the final part before we move on to uh, laying the main line back down. Get this cleaned out real good. You see a stake right here? Do this we're going to attach this uh piece of pipe with the uh coupling on the end and then we'll move on down the main line you know, some of you're going to probably say oh you're putting too much glue on there i don't think you can put too much glue on there it'll squish out i got big jugs of this stuff you'd rather have too much than not enough <clears throat> all right and that is it folks uh we're done once i drop that down in the hole um you know i'll show you the end result when we finish this whole thing and what it looks like um but that's going to be a, a spigot i'll paint this yeah you know, green red something you know so you can spot it and i'll probably put a, a drive a piece of wood down on the ground next to each one and tie strap it to that just to give it some stability um you know something like that steak but longer i have plenty of those around at the uh in the tool shed at the house but anyway that's it i just wanted to show you the installation of a spigot i told you i would now i'm gonna get back on this main line we are done it's all gone uh all i have to do now is just push the line down into the uh, hole a little bit i gotta straighten some of these up i'll take some stakes like i said earlier just to stabilize them anyway and uh but it's all the way around we've had pressure on it for about uh i'd say about 15 minutes or something like that now
Oh, look at that. Good amount of pressure. Got a lot of volume back here. I'm going to walk you over to the uh, other side and uh, show you this one over here all the way on the end. So there's one there, two there, three on the end. Talking about the uh, spigots there. Three over there and two over here to match the, uh, or I'm sorry, three over here to match the uh, two over here. Plus we had one more I put on the end. Uh, I think down here's where we're gonna do some fruit trees, maybe a couple apple trees, uh, peach plum, plum pear, something like that. But I am, uh, I am pooped. <laughs> uh, we've been out here for a while and uh, Minnie and I trying to get this done. I'm super pleased with the result here, but I just wanna show you um, what it looks like. Let me turn this one on. Full blast. <laughs> That's like a doggone fire hydrant. Look at that, how far that's shooting out. Nice and cold too. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll leave it um, just sitting here tonight. And um, if everything checks out tomorrow, I'll, um, I'll come back and push the pipe down in the trench, you know, all along. And um, I'll go buy some stakes or some pieces of wood that I can cut to uh, stick next to each one with some tie straps to the, uh, the spigots there sticking up. And, uh, and we're done. So three here, three there, two here, and one up at the front here, and then one at the road in case you want to do a little flower bed or something. But to give you an idea, the spigot there, that's how far out it's shooting. It's a lot of pressure, but it's a two inch line all the way to right about there where that uh, spigot is. And then it's inch and a half the rest of the way to the end. And I had a little bit of uh, inch and a half left over in case we want to expand it. Um, you know, I thought about possibly up here, I could do a T and I could take water back that way. You know, if we ever get to where we can build a little deck out on the creek, um, you know, I could, uh, I could have a, a water source back there too. Maybe wash your fish off as you catch them, wash your hands and your feet. But I was talking to an old gentleman today. He was in his 80s and I stopped by there just to chat with him about his garden. He has a beautiful garden and uh, I think he was 83. Um, and uh, he said that this creek, his whole childhood, he would take a stick like this long, tie a string on it with some bait and a hook and uh, he, they would stake him in the ground, he and his buddy, all along the creek and catch catfish and he would sell them for $2 a piece. And that's how he made his money, uh, just side money, selling those catfish. So he said this creek is full, of, they call it Catfish Creek. I, there was another gentleman that came out here a month or so ago that called it that as well. But, but, uh, but old man Barry, <laughs> he told me uh, the whole history behind it and how he used to uh, swim in the creek and uh how they you know used to catch just endless catfish there's a catfish farm about a mile up the road from here that kind of feeds into this also i don't know if that has something to do with the catfish i guess it probably does but anyway um so super excited folks you can see this turn how smooth the turn went there are no there are no l's here there are no elbows that's just one more joint uh so i just did a nice smooth turn um you know, and invent the pipe like that. And, um, and so it looks like here, but you can see even in the back, it sticks up, see how it bows up right here. And what I'll do is I'll get in with my foot and I'll mash it down. And uh, I'll walk along the whole thing and mash it down like that where it's sticking up. And then, uh, and then we'll pile the dirt on it. But we're gonna leave it here for the night. Uh, it's been scorching hot here all day long, so it's it's really nice to have water. But I'm gonna walk along and test each spigot real fast, and uh, and then we'll call it a day. But um, maybe I'll give you a little update here sometime soon. 
uh, sprinklers have been ordered, the stands for the sprinklers, the deer fence, all of that stuff should be here next week. So we'll get this garden fertilized, tilled up one more time, the beds made for the watermelons, get it all planted with the sprinklers, the fence up and all of that. And uh, I'll be uh, I'll be sure to document all of it. I am gonna put down this, uh, well, I didn't get tracer wire. I, I got this instead. Uh, it was a little bit cheaper and uh, I put this metal tape down in the ground on the pipe, the uh, water pipe. And in the future, uh, something happens to me or just years down the road, I'm trying to find the uh, water line. You can take a metal detector and, uh, and trace it. And this is a thousand feet, so it'll go almost to the end. And then I'll, uh, you know, I'll have something down there to trace the rest. But I also went to Home Depot picked up uh, three three quarter inch 100 foot hoses. Those are gonna be for our sprinkler, the three sprinklers that we have ordered for the garden. And then I got this one just for, you know, the minis if they wanna play in the water and uh, another small hose. But I'm gonna drop those off out here. I'm gonna get on this and then I'm gonna go over here and bury this water line uh, right now it's being tested still pressure tested I'm gonna walk the line one time because you're mine I walk the line I'm gonna walk the line and uh, you know make sure there are no leaks or anything I don't think there will be shouldn't be and put the tape down cover it up okay well it's all been covered up that was the bottle I used to plug the pipe the other day I took the uh, the backhoe tractor and I uh, put the front blade down and you can see here I went uh, north south north south all the way down the road I pulled the uh, other side back and then pushed this side and then once I went all the way around the thousand and something feet I uh, I came up to the front I dropped the blade down and I drug it backwards to kind of smooth things out here so it's done folks completely done water and uh, we're about to use it for the first time you can see what it looks like i have to take the shovel up to the meter and shovel around that i didn't want to get the tractor too close to it it was kind of tight up in that uh that area so i'll take a shovel and and pack all of that down but it's nice and solid you know i drove the tractor tire down into the uh, ditch here and uh once it rains it'll be uh it'll harden up you know all of this is soft up here right now but uh i think it's gonna rain on sunday and once it does this is almost like concrete this uh this soft soil this powdery soil you can see it right here how soft it is on the surface how dusty it is and uh all of this will harden up um i got the uh i gotta pack that down in there uh, but I got the tape all the way around, and we're about to give her her uh, her first bath, right? Haven't hasn't been washed off using our uh, newly installed water. Look at that! I got the water turned about uh, about halfway on, something like that for pressure. It's about halfway. I didn't think there was much need to uh, turn it up all the way for what I'm gonna do here. But um, yeah, it was a pretty easy job. You know, if any of you are, you've, you've thought about doing it in the past and you thought about hiring someone, to hire someone to do what I just did, very expensive, right? It's not a cheap thing to hire someone to do, uh, to do your water for you like that, to run your water. But you can do it yourself and um, save a whole lot of money um, the only difference is if you don't have a compact tractor, well, you could rent a compact tractor, right? You could rent one. Um, but if you didn't want to do that, you could do the, the covering of the trench up by hand with a shovel. Because uh, most of you are not going to have to go 1,200 feet, right? You're only going to have to go 100 feet or 50 feet or something like that. So uh, it's going to be, you know, something you could handle with a shovel. And... Uh, you know, I just, I had the tractor, so I used it. But anyway, um, 
that's it you know you can see it all the way around that's what she looks like all covered up you can see me using the water here now it's got good pressure even at half i turned the uh, nozzle uh the spigot on about half and uh super super good pressure all i'll need for out here with sprinklers and so forth and so on and uh i'm going to continue washing this thing down with the water hose and um when i finish i think i'm going home for the day i'm gonna call it a day coming out here with the family tomorrow we're going to uh get a good bit of work done out here tomorrow near the creek we're going to do some more clearing out there and uh i'm sure i'll probably document some of it or at least you know afterwards and what we've done but i'm also going to take the grease gun to this thing you see the fitting right here for the grease gun uh, i'm going to get all the fittings the back of everything uh, all greased up real good but uh thank you for watching folks and, and keeping up with the little uh project here with water um, maybe you learned something out of here i don't know <laughs> i'm not a very good instructor because i'm just kind of seat of my pants doing things uh some of it for the first time ever myself uh but it that should be even more proof that anyone could do it right you don't have to hire someone to do uh things like this you can just do it yourself and uh like i said hopefully it helped you in some way or at least was somewhat entertaining but thank you for your support uh, please consider supporting the channel by leaving a like on the video and uh, i'll see you all next time